day. Really, really nuts, but I'm here and I'm live. All right, so <clears throat> today's theme or topic is septic tank. Soak away crates. Oh, the pen's running out. Look at that. All right, so let's see that again. It's the septic tank. Sorry about the different colors. Soak away crates. There you go. How does that look? All right, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Right, okay, so this is probably one of the most controversial uh, products that um, septic tank owners come across against there's so much misinformation um on the internet about septic tank soak away crates that people ring me up they're saying oh you know this company says it's illegal the building regs officer says they're illegal you know if you put septic tank soak away crates in they're going to send you to prison and all this okay so this is generally um the result of all the misinformation out there regarding septic tank soak away crates. So I thought I'd just kind of establish a baseline and, um, you know, some facts here as to what's right and what's wrong. OK, and all the information I'm about to share with you and quote with you can be found on the government's website, which is dot gov. And you can find all this information um, I'm about to share with you on the .gov website. And it can be found under the title, The General Binding Rules. OK, there we go. So it can be found under that. So if you, if you want to find out more information, want to go a little bit deeper, about septic tank soak away crates or the septic tank ban or what septic tanks are legal what septic tanks aren't legal and just go to the .gov website in google and just type in the general binding rules and you'll see all the information that i'm about to share with you and more okay so let's get down to this straight away so <clears throat> first of all let me answer the question right what exactly do I mean by a septic tank soak away crate? What is a septic tank soak away crate? Right. OK, so let's just take it that everyone knows what a septic tank is. OK, so I'm going to draw here a septic tank. OK, so let's do this. So there's the top of it. And I'm just going to put in a typical standard bullet septic tank okay so a bullet septic tank looks like a bullet um and they're shallow they're shallow dig they're called bullet septic tanks because they're shallow dig uh septic tanks there we go how about that all right so now if i draw some grass here there we go and um, one more thing I will do here. I'm going to do an inlet pipe. And the inlet pipe there comes from uh, the house. And here is an outlet pipe. Okay, so the water comes in through here uh, and fills up the tank. And then when it reaches this height here, it then makes its way, the wastewater makes its way. So if I put wastewater, wastewater in and that's wastewater out there you go okay so that's pretty self-explanatory up to now now there's various soakaways that you can attach to your septic tank so i'm just going to do three here with you okay so one of the most well there's actually four all right so first of all first one is i'm going to call it a soak away pit A soak away pit. You have to forgive my writing. <laughs> I haven't had any coffee today, right? So that's supposed to say soak away pit. That's a new way of saying soak away, okay? And so what they would do years ago, um, they would dig, literally dig a pit 
and they put bicycles and rubbish and rubble and stuff like that in there. And all the water would go from the septic tank, go into um, the soak away pit and all just drain away. OK, so that's one type of soak away. All right. Another type of popular soak away is pipes in the uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s. Right. They used to put clay pipes in the ground. So that the pipe would literally go straight from the soak away, if I keep it the same color, and it would be clay. The pipes would be made of clay. And they would just go on for miles and miles and miles or hundreds of feet. And they, there was no perforations or anything in them like that. The water would just go down them. And when it came to the end of the hole, um, that's it. The water would just rush out of the end of the clay pipes. Um, downside with clay clay pipes is that um, they were brittle, they'd snap, they'd break, they'd collapse. Okay, and today a lot of the pipes that are put in the ground for the soak away pipes are made, they're now orange underground pipes. So today they don't have clay pipes, they have orange underground pipes all right and they've normally got slits on the underbelly and as the water travels through the pipe it then disperses into the ground now because of science and technology about three or four years ago they started making crates drainage crates in fact they're called soak away crates and I suppose a soak away crate, if you just want me to draw you a picture of a big one, it looks like like that. All right. And um, they're hollow. They've got, they've got obviously a framework and um, they're light. They're very strong. They can, you can have them up to like 60 ton of weight can go over them so they're very good in driveways places like that and the wastewater basically fills up in the crate and then just gently and slowly soaks away into the surrounding soil so that's what a soak away crate is now you can also buy well in fact let me just explain this to you try and keep it simple there's two types of crates for drainage crate crates crates on the market. There is rainwater crates and septic tank soak away crates. All right, so they're two different kind of crates completely now they look the same right the membrane kind of look, looks the same as well right you'll have to forgive my hair for some reason it's just like exploded today it's like every time i put the uh, the camera on it goes boosh, like all this static electricity you know but anyway um yeah so rainwater crates look the same as soak away crates as septic tank soak away crates the membrane looks the same, but they're two different types of crates. And rainwater crates work out if you bought a load of them, say, I don't know, 8, 10, 12, 15, 18, 20, whatever, of them, 100 of them, you'll normally save a few hundred quid with rainwater crates over the septic tank crates. The membrane is different on the septic tank crates. But what happens is that because they're not designed for sewage effluent and the suspended solids, they balloon and swell up. And then in six months' time, eight months' time, the builders have to go back and dig all the soak away rainwater soak away crates back out again that they used for the septic tank and re put the soak away in. So, yes, all right, they save two, three hundred quid up front, but they end up losing a thousand, two thousand quid by coming, having to come and re dig up and redo the soak away again. So, rainwater crates are not allowed for septic tanks. They're, they're, I, 
they are illegal. They're not allowed, okay? But septic tank soak away crates are legal. It's as simple as that. So if you're a builder, if you're looking to put septic tank soak away crates in, then make sure you go for septic tank soak away crates and not rainwater crates. If you want more information on that, on this, on what's what, then just go to, in fact, here's me writing it out. I've actually forget now, it's actually on the screen. If you want more information about the septic tank soak away crates, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You find loads of information about it on there. Okay, so let me show you why septic tank soak away crates work so well, especially on these new low profile septic tanks. It's because you can actually create the soak away very you don't it, it's it's a very shallow dig it's a very easy insulation and they're very easy to put in let me show you on let's say you've dug a hole there you go so years ago you'd have had to have dug a hole something like a meter two meters down to put the soak away in or a herringbone system with these soak away crates the septic tank soak away crates you only have to go down like a foot and a half two feet maximum below the grass right and so Let's just uh, say this is the hole here. All right, so if I just make this a bit bigger now. So that's typically what the hole would look like with the soak away crates inside them. And then the water, it fills up in the crates here. And then as I said, they just soak away naturally into the soil. And that's what's so good about septic tank soak away crates. Now, many people ask me, many people say, but but my building inspector, he's never heard of soak away crates. He says they're illegal. And if I put them in, he, he won't sign them off and they're going to call the police and we're going to get fired. It's a load of rubbish, right? It's just misinformation. It's hearsay. Let me tell you what the rules and regulations are according to the government. Okay. So if you go on the .gov website, you'll find that there's two legal pieces of information that you need when you're putting a septic tank and a soak away in. Number one, right, number one is you need an EN12566-1 certificate. For the septic tank, right? The septic tank to be legal in the UK must have a certificate, an EN12566 1. That is the law, right? You can put septic tanks in that haven't got the certificate, but they are illegal, okay? So for your building control and the environmental agency to love the septic tank that you put in, to approve it, to not give you any hassle, it has to have come with a certification. All, not everyone sells septic tanks with a certification. All the septic tanks that we sell, that I sell on septictank.co.uk come with a government certification. That's that. Now, people think that soak away products also have a certification. They don't. There never has been a certification for any soak away products in the UK. There never has been, right? There never ever has been. And they have no plan of doing so. So there are no certificates, no certificates for For soak away products there's no bs standard there's no certificates for soak away products okay and no bs standard now let me tell you where all these rumors come from on the government website on the .gov website, it says that any soak away, and here we'll go, put it on, any soak away 
that's installed in the UK must the principles of when it's of the of the products that you buy and how you install it right the person must read the guidelines in the documentation which is which is called the BS 6297 2007 all right so that is not a british standard okay it's not a certificate in fact the Secretary of State says it's it's illegal, right, for anyone, for me or for building control to enforce or make anyone, right, comply with any of the suggestions in there, right? They're guidelines, they're principles, they are serving suggestions. Okay, now, in the first paragraph of the BS 6297 2007, right, it says, right, that you can use any alternate, alternate infiltration system. You can use, it says in paragraph one, you can use any soak away system, drainage system that you want, as long as it works, right? The Secretary of State only has two legal requirements and they are that the soak away um, does not pollute or causes no pollution and number two that it drains away effectively all right that there is the law in section h of the building regs the law states the whole law right of of, of soakways in section eight of the building regs hangs the, in fact the rules and the regulations the guidelines it's all guidelines it's guidelines there's only two laws in, in in the uk right they are that the soakaway mustn't pollute any water courses otherwise the environmental agency will get involved and the second law is that the soak away must drain away effectively that's it those are the only two laws that people who are putting in a septic tank and a soak away or a sewage treatment plant and a soak away must comply with the whole of section eight of the building regs is after that regarding septic tank uh, regarding soakaways are guidelines serving suggestions if no for example on a cornflakes right you'll see sometimes they'll have strawberries with the cornflakes maybe a bit of cream on there the next one you see right they may have some raspberries and some blueberries with it there's there's no law that you've got to have strawberries with your cornflakes right you know they work well with milk right and some cream and some strawberries. In fact, they make them taste nicer. But there's no law. It's just a principle, a serving suggestion, and it's the same with Section H of the Building Regs and the BS 6297, 2007. Right? It says there in the first paragraph, you can use any alternative infiltration system that you want, as long as it complies with those two laws. There, the rest of it. Is just guidelines because if you think about it if you've never put right a soak away in before right it's good to have some kind of basis some kind of you know you know there has to for example over the last 50 or 60 years in England it's been popular to use a herringbone type of system it has all right so the BS guidelines not a standard not a certificate will say this is what's been done over the last 50 years right this is um, the best way in which they've dug the trenches this is the best width that they found in certain conditions to put the pipes in this is the best type of gravel that they found in certain places that they go to etc etc their suggestions right so when you're building Right, control officer comes 
And he says, um, no, I don't like those. They're illegal. They're not. Right? They're not. Right? I have to consult for building control. I have to re represent them in courts and stuff. I teach them, right? Or the guidelines say in, in the BS documentations, right? I teach them. They, they contact me to teach them what it says in section eight of the building rigs. So, all right, but because there's so much in, in building regulations, a section, this section A, B, C, D, E, there's so much in there and it's growing all the time. They can't know everything, okay? But the point being is, what normally happens is, say I've been doing soakways and I'm a building control officer, right? We're not locking them or putting them down. They're hardworking and they've got a lot on their plate, right? And uh, if they are polluting anywhere, and they're not draining away effectively, then it's their job to kind of help you and direct you to put a proper soak away in. But it's illegal for anyone, right, from the government to come and say to you, unless it's polluting or whatever, that they're illegal, because they're not illegal, right? It's against the law for anyone to do that. What normally happens is this, right, is if they're used to seeing herringbone systems, they're used to seeing that that's a serving suggestion. All right, okay, everyone nor normally has strawberries and cream on their cornflakes. I'm used to that. I compute that. It's easy. It's not going to make my life any different. Yeah, okay, he's got strawberries and cream on his uh, cornflakes. I'll tick that off. But technology changes. You know, technology has changed so much in the way that septic tanks and soakaways are constructed now. Right, that they can't, it's impossible to keep up with all these new rules and regulations, right? So, when they see something they don't know about, um, I'm not sure about that. Who told you about the crates? And then they come back to me and said, Oh, the building control man, he's never heard of it, and uh, you know, he, he's um, he, he, he's a bit you know perplexed about it, and I'm a bit concerned that he's perplexed. And oh, that's fine, that's all right. He, he, just because someone's got a question or they've never seen it before doesn't mean it's wrong, and they're not wrong. So, that's where all the misinformation comes about. You know, that septic tank soakaway crates are illegal, they're fully legal. The Secretary of State loves soakaway crates, full stop. They love them. They do. It's, as I said, there's only two laws if you're putting a soak away in that you need to abide by. That the soak away doesn't pollute, it's not going in, the, the sewage effluent isn't going in, into any water course, and it drains away effectively. Okay? So there you go. So I've tried to explain that really simply. The rules and the regulations governing septic tanks and soakaways. I hope that helps. If you want more information, if you want free information, then just go to septictank.co.uk and I'll give you loads, you know, just ring me up. I'll help you as best as I can. If you need me to point, if you've got a building control officer who's never come across soakaway crates before or you're, you've read some misinformation on some site that says, call the police because if you put septic tank, Took away crates in, you know, cowboy builders, call training standards, call the police quick, you know, dial 999. Before you, lots of people, right? Number one, <laughs> you've got to understand that lots of people have an agenda why they say the things they do. For example, some companies sell sewage treatment plants, they don't like septic tanks, they don't like soakaways. So if they play on misinformation, oh, they're illegal, phone the police if you put those on. But if you buy our sewage treatment plant, put that in, you won't have any problems. So, you know, you've got to take what you read with a pinch of salt. At the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, the only way to know if your septic tank and soak away are fully compliant and fully legal is to read the documentation provided by um, the UK government. And, and so... As I said, so for septic tanks, you just need the EN 12566, and you've just got to make sure that your soak away doesn't pollute uh, any water courses and it drains away effectively. So whether you're using septic tank soak away crates, easy drain, um, anything like that, they're all fully legal. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching my live broadcast today. I've got to go back to work now. Yes, it's a long day now, The even though the uh, nights <laughs> are lighter. 
the night, even though it's uh, lighter for longer now, that means I'm going to work longer. But uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I love doing this job and I love helping people. So listen, thank you very much for watching this live broadcast. I will catch you later. I may do another question and answers later if I get back in time. But uh, you take care and I'll speak to you soon.